Good evening and happy Mother's Day. I'm Jim Williams. Nearly half of those who have died of COVID-19 in Illinois lived at long-term care facilities and families of those there now are worried. CBS 2's Mike Puccinelli found it's difficult getting a loved one out of such a home even after a COVID-19 diagnosis. Mike joins us now live with the story. Hey, Jim, there are about 100,000 people living in the state's long-term care facilities, nursing homes, and rehab centers. But in a time of COVID-19, those people are increasingly at risk. I am terrified. Trainette Lark is scared because she's aware that more than 3,400 Illinoisans have lost their lives to COVID-19. Now she fears her mother could be next. She's not being cared for. Last week, she learned her mom, Diane Norwood, has the disease. Her oxygen was off. It was terrible. The 63-year-old tested positive for the virus on Wednesday while living in Symphony at Midway Rehabilitation Center. I don't have a choice but to believe that if she stays there, my mom will not probably make it. Lark says her mom was supposed to be getting out this week after being treated for complications from diabetes. But now, since her mom contracted COVID-19, Lark says Symphony officials won't let her go. At first, it was come get her. And then when it came out that she got COVID-19, now so I can't get her. But Lark says that's not acceptable. I feel like they holding my mom hostage. Holding her in a place where the sign on the door says they have active COVID-19 cases. The records show that more than 150 residents and staffers have become sick and six have died from the virus. But I'm so angry at the people for how she just called out for help. Angry, but determined after spending her first ever Mother's Day without her mom. Because I'm not going to let her die. I keep telling them people at Symphony, and I hope y'all hear me now loud and clear. I told y'all I was coming, and I was going to get justice, and I'm not stopping. I'm not stopping. Now, Symphony officials say they have been in regular communication with the patient's family for the past several days. They also say they have assigned a nurse to the case to discuss the anticipated discharge date with the family. They also say they know regular communication is absolutely key to ensuring that families know that they are doing everything in their power to protect their loved ones at Symphony. Reporting live along the Mag Mile, Mike Puccinelli, CBS 2 News. Jim? Mike, thank you.